Hello? Oh. Oh. It's it's bubbling. It's boiling. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Hey there, Cthulhu crew, and welcome back to some more Ark Survival Evolved Scorched Earth. Oh yes, we have a glorious Rex mount. Um, in between the last video and now, I've tamed up kind of a low-level Rex that was hanging out in our valley, and then recently in my last Cthulhu Tuesday livestream, tamed up two Rexes. Another medium to low-level one, and then this bad boy was, I think, 88 wild? And after a decent amount of leveling, we're up to 133. I've got pretty decent amount of health, working on the melee. I did bump movement speed and stamina a little bit as well, because I want this to just be a good all-around Rex. But anyway, today I'm hoping to do something exciting with you guys. As you can see, we're in the desert. Let me show you where. If I pull out my map, there you can see very uh, southeastern corner in the desert. You probably know what's in the desert. I want to find me a death worm. That's right, a death worm. And we're going to bring the death to the worm. I'm hoping <laughs> that uh, our Rex here will be able to take on the Death Worm. I figure as we're running around trying to find it, I'll still be able to munch some bad guys, grab a few more levels, and we'll just be that much more prepared by the time it happens. Um, so the Death Worm, from what I understand, like unless it's a Prime, I think they're always level 1 when you find them. And they're pretty tanky. Oh! Oh! <gasps> The beetles! I didn't know they're just randomly out here in the desert. Oh, I want you in my life! Oh, I'm, I'm gonna come back for you. Mm -mm. But anyway, it seems like the death worms are always level 1 unless they're alphas or something. But anyway, you kill them, you can get some good stuff, including their, their spikes, I think? Horn, spike, thorn thingies. And those you can use to tame up what I think we see in the distance. Let me check these guys out. Hello? Oh, 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 it's behind the head. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Rex, get your head out of the way. I'm trying to show the people something. Yeah, the pr the wild mantis, the praying mantis. Level, ooh, 92. Oh, disappeared. You either despawned or just got out of draw distance or something like that. But yeah, so you need to kill those, uh, those guys, the death worms, before you can tame up the mantis. And it just seems like a fun challenge in general. Uh, something straight out of the Dune books, the the sandworms. They can hear you stomping around in the desert, and they come, and they start rumbling through the dunes, and then they burst out, and they start chomping on you, and uh, it's a battle to the death. It seems pretty awesome. So that's what I want to try to do today. Um, so I know, like, you can see the puffs of, of dust and stuff like that coming out of the sand when it's tracking you. I don't think there's any way to, like lure it out other than just wandering around and finding it so that's going to be my first mission for the day is just finding it and then we'll worry about killing it I do have a very large inventory's worth of meat so that if this little guy cannot quite handle things then uh, we can back off eat some meat heal up and life will be bueno I would like to quick mention that our nice Rex here is named JF Maniac because during the stream when we were taming this guy good old JF Maniac dropped by and made an incredibly generous donation and that's going to be going towards a new graphics card which will make these arc videos look that much better and unturned look that much better and just help me do things better in general so thank you very much again JF maniac thought I would give you a quick little shout out in this video and I should also mention the donger Lord became my newest patron in that very same live stream it was very exciting so thank you very much donger Lord for deciding to support in that way it really does mean a whole crap ton to me I love you, buddy. <laughs> anyway, all right, I'm going to wander around a little bit, see if we can't find one of these death worms, 
And then, uh, obviously, I'll bring you guys back in. Oh! Okay. No, that's just breeze. That's just wind. I thought that was the, the rumblings. Alright, I'll get you guys back in a bit. Hoo-wee! I have been crossing and crissing and even crisscrossing this desert. No luck so far. I haven't been able to get a few more levels, though, so that's fine. Um, and I also, when I killed one of the mantises, the mantis eye, he gave me a pike, a couple of whips, and a sword. I love the swords. I haven't even bothered learning the Ingram yet, though. Um, and now I have a free sword. <laughs> so I was asking the guys, is there anything I need to be doing special-like to, to get these guys to show up? And they said, no, just check out the desert. And Blood Eagle was kind enough to give me a pro tip. I'm gonna kill this guy real quick and see if we get anything sweet. The pro tip, ooh, a 116. I wish I hadn't killed him. <laughs> uh, if you go to K mode, so like kind of the building mode, and then you can sneak under the ground like this, he said it'll look like, and I quote, a carrot. So I'm looking for a carrot under the sand. Go figure. Oh, and then Blood Eagle has left. Uh, let's see what we have here from this corpse. Those guys give you a lot of organic polymer, which I did not know. Oh man, look at that! Some some clubs? I don't know if clubs are going to come in handy. I don't think we have penguins here anymore. Um, metal pick. Unfortunately, these are all just primitive. So they're not super amazing, but it's not too shabby. Oh, and we got another level on this guy. So I'm up pretty high on the health. I think I'll do one more on the health. And then from then on, it's going to be melee damage. Alrighty, well, I'm going to keep looking. I shared the tip with you guys. You probably know it already, but in case you didn't, there you go. Straight from Blood Eagle's mouth to me, to you. <laughs> Use K mode and look for a carrot. We will see if that does indeed help us get this death worm. Oh joy, we have a sandstorm. Cue the death worm! <laughs> Perfect time for you to show up now, buddy. Oh, hey, we got a uh, drop coming down here in the desert at night. Cool. Let's check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Oh, gosh. Wait, is that... Is that the carrot? Is that the death carrot? No, it's not. Dang it, man. Every time I see the little wind wisps, I think it's the death carrot. Okay, seems safe enough. Let's see what we've won. Take all and then run away. We got a Lymantria saddle and an oil pump blueprint. Eh. So these these death carrots are actually in the game, right? Like I'm pretty sure I've heard about them being a thing. <laughs> I've I've looped around up on the eastern side, stayed in the desert the whole time, and I figured I'd come check out this huge northeastern expanse as well. I, I've been K-moding every once in a while, kind of swooping around, not seeing any death worms. My goodness. Uh, the levels are slowing down a bit, too. As I get higher and higher, it's harder to come by. I want to quick take a peek at these ruins. I don't think, for the most part, there's any point to ruins in this game. I know one of them, near where I started, has an entrance to a... Uh, a cave? And I think, is that something in the center there? I don't know. I feel like these should have, like, loot drops or something, you know? Something to make it worth coming all the way out here, risking life and limb in the desert. I don't know. They look cool, at least. I'll give them that. Yep, still no death carrot. Gonna keep looking. <gasps> Holy crap! Holy crap! Here it is! Wow! Okay, here we go. Let's see how we do against a death worm! Where are you, buddy? Where are you? Hello? Oh, oh. It's, it's bubbling. It's boiling. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, it's time to do this. Get munching, guy, get munching. Oh, it's so epic looking and nasty. Oh, you so gross. Okay, he is scratching me. I'm not 100% sure how this thing's gonna go. I, is it getting bloody? can't tell. It is... Okay, yeah, so this is a level 1, so that is at least going along with my suspicion that they are level 1 in the wild. Oh, it's getting so bloody! Oh, dude, you're going down! No, 
flipping way! Get wrecked! Get so wrecked right now! Mm, mm, get wrecked! Mm, get lunged! Go! 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 It, don't, oh, scorpion, don't you kill steel! Yes! Yes! Okay, from what I understand, I munch it first, and then I need to open up the the sack that's on the ground. Oh, and we got a level from that. I wonder if we got multiple. That would be really nice. And we got a nice water bug jug waiting for us. Oh my gosh, that took forever to find! Okay, I'm gonna take all quick, and then run away. Okay, looks like it was one death worm horn and four black pearls, a rare resource from the bottom of the sea, or <clears throat> uh, death worm, <clears throat> the death carrot. I'm kind of disappointed, like I didn't even get to see it in K mode before. <gasps> Is that another one? Is that the death carrot? Holy cow, did I seriously, after looking forever and a day, did I stumble across two? That's insane, well let's take a look at the health real quick. Um, nope, not my health. <laughs> Uh, so it took, like, maybe 3,000 off of me. Oh, we got two, three, four levels. Nice. Okay, we'll go ahead and bop a little bit of meat in there. I think I should be totally fine, though, against these things. I was really nervous. Like, I know this is not a, a top beast Rex by any means, but I thought I'd been leveling it pretty well and putting some good points into it, but I really wasn't sure how it was going to perform. I'm very happy with how it has performed. Nice! Alright, so... Looks like the death carrot... Oh, the death carrot's moving! Okay, yeah, so that is what it looks like. Sweet! We're gonna get two in a row! Back to back! Where'd it go? Hey, 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 hey! What? Did it just dis... Did it just despawn? It was right here! I saw it below and above ground. Hold up! No, 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 no. You don't get to do that, Death Worm. What the crap? You guys saw that, right? Is that... Is that a thing? Do they despawn when they're right next to you? No! Oh, oh, oh! I see another one! I see another one! Let's see if this one actually hangs out with us and doesn't just run away like a freaking coward. I think it's gonna be down here somewhere. Yes? Maybe? Yeah, there he is, there he is. Okay, please don't just disappear randomly this time. There we go! Get in my life! And then get out of my life! Okay, let's see, this one is also level one, all right. And we do have a lot of friends around, but I think we should be fine. Here, here, let's, let's intimidate him. Yeah, that's right, you're gonna get so ruined. Oh, he is kind of munching me. Okay, enough <laughs> enough screwing around. Let's just kill him off. Is this one uh, colored differently than the last one? I'll have to go back and double check the footage. That'd be cool if they had different, uh, different colorings on them. All right, this one is not long for this world. It is no match for the JF Maniac Rex. Get so dead, you ugly SOB. Oh, hey. Interesting. It gave me all the stuffs outright. Like the black pearls and the, uh, ooh. Oh, that's a fancy. Oh, he did. <laughs> Never mind. I thought the mantis was all cool looking. Nope, he did. Interesting. So that one, let me scroll through all this meat. That one just, I just munched it outright. I wonder if I did wrong. Last time, I munched the the death worm with my Rex, took all the meat and stuff, and then it dropped the, the satchel to loot afterwards. And this one just went straight into the Rex's inventory. Interesting. All right, well, as much as I love wandering around in the desert for ages, I think I'm gonna head back. I guess I will stick to the desert for a while as I head back. Maybe we'll get lucky and run into another one, because I think we need a pretty decent number of these horns to uh, tame up a mantis. But uh, I'll head back. I'll more than likely not come across one, I'm thinking. So I'll sign off here. Uh, and if we do run into another one, obviously I will bring you guys back in regardless. But thank you very much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Scorched Earth on the Pooping Evolved server. 
Uh, and now you know what kind of wrecks can take on a death worm. Um, plenty of health there. I would say 10,000 health uh, just to be on the safe side. But if you have better melee damage, then obviously that's not going to be as much of a concern because you will just eat the worm faster. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Tune in next time. Maybe we'll be able to get a mantis tamed up and we can try goofing around with those guys. I will see you next time. Okay, JK, there's another one right there. Holy crap. <laughs> I literally just finished doing the little sign off. And there it is. Let's uh, let's grab a little more meat just to top off quick. I hope it doesn't like freaking disappear again. I I was asking some of the guys that are on about that. Oh oh, he's coming, he's coming. I was asking some of the guys about that, and they're like, yeah, that happens sometimes. That sucks. <laughs> I mean, it takes so freaking long to find these things, and they can just disappear on you. No boy, no. Oh, I'm still in K mode, aren't I? No, I'm not. I'm having trouble moving my guy here. <clears throat> These things, this battle is not about finesse. <laughs> this is about button your head against the wall as hard as you can, and it's either you or the wall that gives out eventually. And so far it's been me, and it's gonna stay that way. So I'm interested to see if this one, okay, so that one left a satchel. Weird. Okay, nothing is in the immediate area to munch my cute little face. So, take all, we got organic polymer that time, and only one black pearl. Wow, that's pretty sucky. Alright, there we go, another death worm dead. I like it.